Today, I'm going to be reviewing Zahara Signature Pour Homme. Let's depart on our journey in search of the fragrance to change the world. I want to tell you my story of Zahara Signature Pour Homme. Now let's keep watching. Finally found it. Welcome everyone back to another edition of the Fragrant Shark. If you're new to this channel, this is where I decant out to your fragrance reviews, lists, and positive waves. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now let's get into it. The classification is the Oriental Woody. It was launched in 2018 and the nose behind this fragrance is master perfumer Claude Dare. Some of his previous works are Kind of Coal Mankind, Banana Republic 17 Oud Mosaic, and one of the most iconic women's perfumes, Britney Spears, Curious. Now, let's get into the notes. Top notes, fresh cardamom, lavender, black pepper, juicy pear, blue cypress, heart notes, ginger roots, blonde cedar, temple oud, iris, pimento leaves, fir balsam, base notes, creamy sandalwood, gold patchouli, black amber, frankincense, and myrrh. The opening you're greeted with sweet lavender, with a deep woody and rich blue cypress. The blue cypress is, has like a slight mint vibe going. The black pepper and the cardamom add a nice masculine spice to the profile. Transition to the dry down, the oud starts to emerge. This is a beautiful oud. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of oud. This one has such personality without it being overly pungent. The creamy sandalwood starts shining and blends perfect with the blue cypress and uh, the blonde cedar creating a trifecta of regal woods. The fur balsam adds a hint of pine needles, frankincense and myrrh, breathe out and add a warm balsamic nature to the profile. 
Performance on my skin is an excellent performer. I get 10 plus hours, I'd honestly just stop counting after that. Production and sillage are excellent as well for the first four hours, then it starts teaming down. I would say this is best worn during the cooler weather, like fall, winter. Definitely this is a, a regal fragrance, wear it dressed up, don't wear it like with a pair of jeans and a, a t-shirt. Final verdict, to me this is not just a bunch of notes slapped together that smells good, it's more than that. It's about the journey, it's about the story that this fragrance takes me on, the raw emotion and outlook of life when I wear this. Smell, wear, and I become a signature Poirot. I think George is as like a, a modern day Indiana Jones. He goes to great lengths to take and ascertain the precious oils that he put into this fragrance. He, he finds a, a way to separate himself from the big name fragrance houses. I don't think you'll ever find another person or a house like Zaharoff. This fragrance is central, classy, and regal, and definitely will make you stand out. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know in the comments, have you ever smelled this one? Or if you're looking to get a, a sample, I'm gonna put a link in the description so this way you guys can check it out. Thank you all for watching The Fragrant Shark and joining me on this journey.